job really isn't as easy as I'm sure we all thought it'd be when we first applied to dentistry. The competition out there is fierce. There are close to a thousand dentists qualifying every year and more coming from Europe. The competition is the most in the larger cities. Therefore, it's clear that you need to stay on top of your game if you want to end up with your ideal associate position. I'm going to take you through a number of important points which will hopefully help you through this process. You need to start your search well in advance. Even if the start date advertised is too early for you, explain to those you apply to when you need to work from. If they want you, they may be prepared to wait till your current contract ends. You can search for an opening via adverts online or even journals. The BDJ Jobs website is great. You can also sign up to dental job agencies. Importantly, network and speak to those you know in the dental world to see if they're aware of any opportunities. If you're interested in any particular practices, it's not a bad idea to email them, call them up, or perhaps even arrange a visit and go and see them in person. If you have no idea where you'd like to work, then I think it's a good idea to apply to lots of different practices initially and then see who gets back to you. It's worth having your CV sorted well in advance rather than a few minutes just after you've been requested to send one in. I'm sure you're all aware of the basic sections to include in a CV, but two things which I believe are crucial are a professional photograph in the top corner and also a personal statement section where you give a few sentences explaining the qualities which make you stand out and most suitable for the job. It's a good idea to ask a few people you trust to read through your CV before you submit it. Ask your friends, previous tutors, principals, or anyone you think will give their honest opinion. When you do send off your CV, don't forget to attach a short covering letter. This should be specific to the practice, so avoid generic statements and make it consistent with who you are and what you believe in. So, you've sent off your CV, and lo and behold, you've been asked to come for an interview. Wonderful news, but it's not over yet. So don't rush out yet to buy your Ferrari. You need to get past this stage too. Make sure you prepare well for interviews. Do some background research about the practice and make sure you know exactly why you want to work there. First impressions count, so make sure you do all the stuff your parents told you to do. Iron your shirt, comb your hair, look presentable and professional. Have some questions prepared. Don't be afraid to bring up finance and what is expected of you. Do question things like that, things that will matter to you, such as materials, working hours, and other facilities. Ask current associates what they would have liked to know before starting a job, and take some time to think about what you really want to know. If you've been offered a job, before you accept it, there may still be a few areas left to negotiate. You'd hope to be asked to sign a contract, but in your excitement of finally getting a job, don't sign it immediately. Make sure you read the contract carefully. It may seem dull, but you don't want to get caught out. Check things like UDA values, exclusion zones, retention fees, and hidden things that could cause an immense headache. Once you've done this, send the contract off to the BDA. If you're a member, they will have someone look over it and will make sure that both you and your principal are covered equally. Whatever you do, don't take a job without a contract. This whole process of finding and finally accepting a job can be very drawn out and at times quite disheartening. Don't lose motivation and keep on trying. Every step is a lesson that can only teach you how you should or shouldn't do it, which can only be useful in the long run. Don't be afraid to do what's right for you. There are so many options out there. You'd only be limited by how far you feel like digging. <laughs>